Welcome to this first tutorial on using SCS11. In this tutorial we will be starting to set up SCS for a new production. SCS is a tool to help you run sound effects and music tracks for a production. You need to have a good idea about what cues you want before you start to set up a production. You can, of course, add, change and delete cues later. In this first tutorial we will create a new production and add a single audio file cue. When you start SCS11, it will open the last used Q file, or the demo Q file, if this is the first time you have opened SCS. In this example, I currently have the demo Q file open. To start building a new production, click the New button. This clears the screen of an existing Q file and opens the editor at Production Properties. Type in the name of your production. We have called ours Simple Production. <coughs> I suggest you also go to the Devices tab and if necessary change the physical device that's been selected for your main output. Then apply the device changes. We recommend you save your work regularly although SES does maintain a recovery file in case of a system failure. So we suggest you, you save your work now by clicking the Save button and use the dialog to name and save the Q file. The term Q file is used for the .scs11 file that contains the details of the cues for a production. The Q file does not contain copies of audio files, etc. Only pointers to where these files exist. So we'll save that now. On the Devices tab under Audio Output Devices, you define what sound devices you require for the production. Initially, SES will display one device named Front, one stereo device. To add the first audio file queue, just click on Add Audio File Queue up here, and then I'll select a file here from this horse and carriage one. You can listen to the the cue here and adjust the level if you need to. And if necessary you can also change the position. If you're satisfied with that then just open the description field will be populated by the file's title tag if it's present, otherwise the name of the file excluding the extension. You can edit or replace the description as required. So we'll just change that to horse and, and carriage. When you change the sub-queue sub description, it also changes the queue description up here. <coughs> you can use the transport controls to listen to the queue, and so on. To change the level or the volume of a queue, you can move this pointer to the left or to the right. Let's just do that while we play it. and you can also change the pan. For this cue we want to stop the audio file before the end because we do not want to use the last part of the file. To do this we drag this pointer here up to where we want to end the cue and I'll end it about here. We can also change the start at position if we wish to. drag it back to here and to fade it out rather than have it 
cut off abruptly we can put in a fade out time I'll put in as 1.5 seconds so now when we test this when you're satisfied with that's everything you want to do then just click save and that queue is now saved. We now have our production with one audio file queue.